It is the final trading session of September. Let's talk to Doug Sandler, global strategist at Riverfront Investment Group. All right, Doug, stocks are on track for a positive month in September, and usually September is the worst month of the year for the markets. This is gonna be the best September since 2013, so why is everything so great? Yeah, I think the old adage is the market likes to frustrate the most people. And mm -hmm. I think the most people just in, you know, in, in polls that I've taken have been, most people are waiting for a pullback. Mm -hmm. Most people are, uh, you know, thinking the market's gone too far too fast. And mm -hmm. as a result, we sort of get this frustration where as it goes higher, people feel like they're going to get left out. So the pullbacks are short and shallow, um, if you even want to call them pullbacks nowadays. Mm. Um, and I think that's going to be the way it keeps going for a while. But still, we had quite a, a busy month just in terms of news for September. We yeah. had North Korea provocations. Yeah. We had a major Federal Reserve announcement on their balance sheet. Mm -hmm. You would think those events coupled yeah. together would move the markets to right. the downside, but nothing. Right. I almost take there's two perspectives on the market. You know, one is sort of the markets one punch from being knocked out. Right. We've had you know nuclear threats. We've had you know, a president that's, you know, very polarizing and just natural disasters. And, um, you know, we're not in that camp at all. I think our view would be, um, would you look at the shots the market's taken from the world and it's still standing? And that's resilience that should be respected and not feared. So, you know, I think it's a really good sign. There's times the market really, I think, tells you what it wants to do. Mm. And it's screaming that there's a lot of underlying support here. Mm. Uh, and that's just on the supply-demand perspective. We can talk about the yeah. fundamentals, too. Well, we, we got away unscathed for September, sure. at least, uh, you know, we'll see how the markets close today. But we have had sell-offs in October, most notably in 2014. We had yep. a, a slew of down days. So yep. give us your outlook for October. Do we get that pullback then? Yeah, yeah our view going forward is we're probably going to get continued grinding higher. Mm. And if you get a pullback, uh, one, I don't know if it's going to happen. But two, I don't think it's going to be worth waiting for. You know, pull back at the S&P 2800, or, you know, a hundred, couple hundred points higher than now. Sure, it may pull back, but if you've waited for that... It's not much of a discount. Yeah, the pullback's not going to get to where you left it today. So. And, and to your point earlier, I mean, the pullback so far this year mm -hmm. has been a 1% down. Yep. I mean, that's nothing. Yep. Although the strategy so far this year has been by the dips. Is yep. that a strategy you would recommend in the coming months? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we go into that kind of 1992 to 1996 period where it was a grind higher mm -hmm. and by the dip mentality. And I think that's probably where we're going. Is there a certain playbook for these dips in terms of what sectors you advise clients to look at? Yeah, generally uh, on a dip, you want to buy stuff that they'd call higher beta stuff. So, you know, I think the winners will remain winners. So if you get a pullback, we saw it the other day, it's, you know, technology had the biggest hit. Uh, wasn't much of a pullback, but it was also the one that rebounded the most, of, you know, the following uh, days. So I'd say tech, I'd say small caps. Uh, we like the financials. Russell uh, 2000 at a record high, sure, which is incredible. Yeah. I'm going to ask you to put your crystal ball on, your crystal thinking. Uh, let me ask you your S&P 500 target for the end of the year. We're at 2507 or something right now. Yeah, I mean, we don't put targets, but I just say higher. Um, higher, you know, by a couple of percent. Uh, the most exciting thing for us is we're looking overseas. Hmm. So when you're talking about, you know, yeah. the developed countries outside the U.S., so Europe, uh, you know, Asia Pac, that's where we're really focused on. And I could see that, you know, three months, really hard to make a prediction. But I could see another, you know, double-digit year mm. next year and mm. the year after because I think we're still cheap. And I think all the macro fundamental stuff is kind of a lot, you know, stars are aligning. All right. We'll see what that earnings growth brings us. Doug Sandler, yeah, thank, thank you, you so much. Thanks, Scott. All right. I'm Scott Gam, and you're watching The Street.